Yo, my guy, PV. Be here. Welcome to Masters of Ceremony, man. Peace. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming on to the show. Yeah, it's it's it a pleasure, man. I'm really trying to only... Um, it's very early in the stages of this podcast, but I want to really try my best to only bring on guests who I genuinely mess with, man. Yeah, I appreciate so, that. Yeah, yeah, we love. Yeah, yeah of course, up. man. How you, how you doing in general, man? Everything cool, you know, can't complain. Yeah. Everything is everything. You've been busy, man. Yeah, staying, trying to stay busy, trying to stay busy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, trying to stay focused. Of course. On, on, on everything I'm doing, you know. S seeing you do that video for Westside at, at the Sony Hall show. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah that was Gorilla. You yeah. know, I just, I just I just pulled up. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fire, I just pulled up. It, look, it looked official, man. I just pulled up and just, yeah. you know. Just do what I do. Yeah. You know oh, I mean? man, we're going to get into a lot. <laughs> but um, for those who don't know, maybe just introduce yourself a bit. You're, you're considered the, in that Retro Tech YouTube video, uh, homie said you were the, the mayor of oh, Poland yeah, Woods yeah, yeah. In, in New York City. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just an OG when it comes to the analog game in the city. I, I consider at least from uh, when I started to get into the game. And uh, just introduce yourself a little bit, man. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know. PV. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. um, with the photography, uh, I started maybe like 2012, yeah. 20, 2011, 2012. Um, that's when I really started with the Polaroid photography and pretty much just been doing it like that, that using that medium yeah. of, of Polaroids and um, getting into other stuff as the, as the years go by. But like Polaroid was, I guess, the, the primary, yeah. primary medium that I was using for like the past couple of years. So. Uh, people know me from like the Polaroids and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, like, you know, I don't know. Like, he 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 got that from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I didn't, the mayor I didn't, of the Polaroid yeah, photography. Yeah, he got yeah. that from somewhere, you know, and I just, you know, I embrace it. But yeah. at the same time, I'm just out here just just, just doing what I do. I'm the humble, man. Yeah, I know. I'm just, doing, I know. I'm, just, yeah, just doing what I do. It's funny. I was trying to remember earlier today either the first time we connected or the first time I was familiar, got familiar with your work. I can't remember, man, but I know yeah, I know it was a minute, minute ago. It's been, a minute, it's been yeah. a minute since we've been running around into each other and yeah, um, just being in the same place. Yeah, maybe it was through Justin, Justin Arisano. Shout out to him. Yeah, um, yeah maybe it could through be, him could or be. through some type of event. I mean, I remember <laughs> when <laughs> I first started like really running around New York, like at least on the hip hop scene. Yeah. Uh you're someone who I would just see consistently and and recognize the face, but not know who that person yeah, is, yeah. other than that homie got a Polaroid. Everyone else got a Canon. Some yeah. people got, you know, old school film joint. But um, yeah. you stuck out to me right away, you know, from the jump. Man, it's been a minute, yeah. So, yeah. like, you know, it could be Justin. Justin introduced me to a lot of people. So, yeah. It could be Justin. Yeah, dope, man. Well, before we get into your whole history and um, love for analog photography and photography in general, yeah. um, I want to hear a little bit about just your upbringing, man, your childhood. You know, how are you... How were you and where were you raised that led you to this point of just being such a dope creative? Mm. <clears throat> so I grew up in sports. Like I grew up playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Where at? Much. Um, well, I played in like a lot of, a lot, I played in like a, dozens of tournaments yeah. in New York. Yeah. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Over the years, different tournaments, um, played with different teams. Um, uh, I went to high school. Um, I played, I went to high school, I went to Madison. And then I ended up uh, transferring to go to school in Queens. So I okay. went to Cardozo for like a year, mm -hmm. played basketball um, all through all those years. Um, you know, so like basketball was like, like I was, I was like, I was thinking I was gonna go to the NBA. Type. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I was on. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was like the, um, the, the, the vision or, or like, you know, if, if the NBA, if, if not the NBA, then I could at least go overseas. Like yeah. that was like up until I was, I guess you could say I was till like 17, 18. Mm -hmm. That was pretty much like the goal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everything else would be like, you know, of course I could get into this and get into that. But like, that was pretty much like what I, what I really saw yeah, myself yeah. doing. <laughs> and then, um. So photography or video didn't even cross your mind too much until. Uh, until until like after, yeah. Okay. Like, well, I, yeah, not until I got a little older, but, mm -hmm. um, the thing about just being creative is that I always used to like make my own t-shirts and like, yeah. and like, uh, like. Customized sneakers, my own sneakers, and I used to do graphic design. Like yeah. I grew up, doing, I learned, I taught myself Photoshop. Okay. You know, since I was like thirteen, I've been yeah. doing Photoshop. So, in between me playing basketball, I'm in the crib, just like on the computer, yeah. being like a computer nerd. Like you know uh, what I'm man. saying? So like, you always had that visual artistry. Yeah, I guess somewhere. you could say like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I used yeah. to be like 
back in the day, I used to be on Hype Beast, like before it was like uh, like what it is now. It used yeah. to be just the forums. Mm-hmm. I used to be on the forums, like you know what I'm saying, going like, going yeah. crazy on the forums, just like <laughs> talking talking to different people from around the world. Yeah. Like even like I guess like before social media was like a thing. We yeah. we was doing I was doing that on the forums, like. Yeah. It's like like Nike Talk and like mm-hmm. Uptowns.net. Yeah. I don't know if anybody remember Uptowns.net. Yeah, hell yeah, man. The like, forums were the OG like, form of yeah. really connecting with yeah. people from all over internationally. Exactly. Yeah. And I was always into like fashion and different things, I guess you could say. Um, not really so much fashion, but like I was more of like a sneakerhead. Yeah. Like, I used to, I used to, I used to. Um, fashion culture. Fashion culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like streetwear and stuff like that. Like back when it was like lit, like when it was easy to just go up in Supreme if you wanted to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever the case is. But um, yeah, I grew up doing that my whole life. Basketball or the computer. Basketball or the computer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, like when I stopped playing basketball, that's when I, I really tapped back into the creative side because I was really focused on the basketball, like primarily. Mm, and then yeah. like the, all the creative stuff was just like, I was making t-shirts for myself to wear. You mm. feel me? Like I was, I was customizing sneakers just for myself yeah. to wear. Like I was getting like, I used to like everybody used to know me for having like different flavors of uptowns. Mm-hmm. I used to get different uh <laughs> like I used to just have mad different flavors. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that was just like but that was more like a personal thing. Yeah. Never like tried to like create a brand and like sell it, nothing like like it was all for me. Like I just felt like, yo, oh, um, you could just make your own t shirt. Yeah. So I was like, yo, let me try that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like and yeah, then why um, not? yeah, and then like so now I'm wearing that to school and then later on that day I got basketball practice. You feel mm-hmm. I me? Mean? And then, uh, so that was pretty much just everything I was doing through the, through my youth, I guess you could say. Then when yeah. I got to college, I went to college. I went to college in um, upstate New York. Okay, dope. went to school called Herkimer. Okay, and I, uh, I ended up like I ain't really played basketball up there. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that's that's kind of like when I just like kind of it phased out. Like you know what I mean? And then um, for like whatever multiple reasons, but at the same time, kind of just phased out. And then um, that's when I was like, yo, what can I get back into yeah. that I genuinely love or something that genuinely interests me? And that was when I got back into the creative side of everything I was doing. And then um, my man actually picked up a camera. My man Hodge picked up a camera in like 20, I guess you could say like 2011. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and we, I was always into visuals and I always was like, yo, I always wanted to like make movies and like, you know what I'm saying? Just like the thought of it, like, mm-hmm. yo, that's dope. I like how they put that together. Like I would yeah. love to get into that. But I never had the urge to pick up a camera. Yeah. Feel me? Up until like I was maybe like uh I guess you could say like early 2020, like 20. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 21, 22 maybe. Mm-hmm. So then my man had picked up his camera. And then I started using it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, going to different events. Like, we was already going out yeah. to different events. And then when he picked up the camera, we were just going to events with the camera. What now. kind of events? Like, hip-hop shows? Yeah, we was always like... going to just, like, different, like, events. Um, I guess, yeah, like, shows. Mm-hmm. Um, or, like, events where it's, like, uh, somebody might be there, but they not necessarily performing. Uh, like, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Like, uh, or, or, like, in the back of A-Life. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, like, now... We just going like, and my man got the camera with him. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's when I started really like touching the camera for the first yeah. time. Like, oh, snap, this is a this digital is, camera. It's a first. digital camera. Okay. He had the he had actually had like a T2I. Yeah, I think at the time. Like, yeah, you know, and that's those like, were popping off at, yeah, the, at the time. time like, you know what I'm saying? 2011, yeah, 12. Like, yeah, the yeah, Rebels yeah. were killing it, man. Maybe, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. He had that. I started using it, but mm-hmm. I had to borrow his camera a lot. Like he even got the 5D at one time, and I was borrowing his 5D. Like you know what I'm saying. But then it got to the point where like I just need my own camera. Of course. But then when I thought about like, yo, what kind of photography do I want to shoot? Like genuinely, like deep side, deep in my heart, like I was like, yo, I just want to like, I just want to shoot. I just want to point and shoot. You yeah. know what I mean? Quick, simple. Yeah, simple. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like when I had the digital camera, when I was using the digital camera. I didn't really like it as much because it was like you had to really learn the settings and it wasn't about that. Mm. It wasn't so much about I wasn't trying to learn the settings. It was so much about like, yo, I just want to, I just want to shoot what I see. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Too many many menus to scroll through. Yeah, so it's like, I I want to, I just want something more direct. Like, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I was like, I thought thought to myself, Polaroid camera, um, uh, something I always wanted was a Polaroid camera. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, and at the time, nobody was really like shooting yeah. Polaroids. So, but at the, I was just thinking like, Yo, what can I do that's like really not necessarily different, but like mm-hmm. something that I'm interested in, yeah. something that I really want to like. Mean, in 2011, 2012, it is different. 
you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but at the same the time, sense, it was yeah. like the really the real reason why I thought Polaroid is because like I wanted to be able to write mm, on the so bottom the of the Polaroid. That was the real reason that. I thought okay. about Polaroids, and that's yeah. what I really a lot of people know me for writing on the Polaroids or getting yeah. people to write on the Polaroid itself. Yeah. And um, cause that that makes a um, that makes that makes that makes the picture more than the picture. Yes. Like it makes it like an interaction. Like yes. you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like a uh it's it's deeper than the picture itself. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not so, just a snapshot, it's yeah. more of a of an experience. Yeah, exactly. And, um, so that, I see it as like a canvas, especially yours. Yeah, like, exactly. Real talk, let me just say a caveat real quick that you're one of the first people I, I saw begin not only writing on the Polaroids, shooting Polaroids, period, like within the at least circle of hip hop that we were running through, yeah. you know, and um, I just thought it was always so dope to have the signature on the bottom, yeah, to have the, the, bottom. the PV on the top, yeah, like yeah, you do yeah, now, yeah. and um, yeah, like it, it's yeah. just it's just a vibe, like it's just a whole vibe, like you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, when I actually was looking for my first Polaroid camera, I got it off eBay, mm -hmm. but I didn't know that they wasn't making film no more. Yeah. Like, so. I actually, when the camera was in route, like to my crib, I didn't even know that I wouldn't be able to find film. Mm. And, but then, lo and behold, I ended up finding a company that actually started making the film again. Yeah, impossible. impossible. Yep. And remember how they 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 actually had a store in Soho at mm -hmm. the time, and it was so crazy because it's like I had to I discovered that like I had to like really research that and like because it wasn't really even easy to find like who these people were at the yeah. time, like you know what I'm saying. So ended up. Discovering that after I actually had my camera, so I actually had my camera and I and I couldn't use it because mm -hmm. every all the all the actual Polaroid film was expired. Yeah, so it's like wow. So so then I found out about Impossible Project. I got the film and then I'm buying basically like a pack a week, mm -hmm. just going crazy. Like just 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 every at least once a week I'm going yeah. in and buying like a pack a week. And how was least. it for you dealing with that uh, that price point, especially yeah, that coming price, from digital? <laughs> that price point is crazy because it was probably like almost like. Almost at that point, like twenty eight dollars a pack wow. for eight shots. So you really paying like almost like three dollars and change yeah. for like per picture. Yeah. So like that's why sometimes too is like I guess I would be a little more particular with mm. with uh like what I'm shooting or who I'm yeah. shooting or what I'm doing with the Polaroid because yeah. it's like yo this shit is expensive like of you know course, what I'm saying so, up. yeah so. yeah. With that being said, I'm buying a pack a week and and uh, just going crazy like going to these events that I'm already going to like I was already yeah. going to these events. Whether mm -hmm. I have my camera on me or not, like yeah. just to Mac, like Either just to way. just yeah. to like have Connect. fun, you know what I'm saying? I'm like 21, 22 in the city, mm -hmm. just running around. But now I got my camera with me, and that's yeah. like the only difference. And like you know what I'm saying? And then like just capturing different moments, and yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Did anybody ever from try? <laughs> did anybody ever try to um, clown you or just be like, yo, Hell what, yeah. what you doing? Hell with yeah! Like, what? Hell yeah! I can vivid, I vivid, I vividly <laughs> remember people te people telling me like, yo, what are you doing with that? Like, yeah. It, like, even even now, like it's not like. It, they won't even be trying to clown, but like they would still be surprised. Intrigued. Like, you know what I'm saying? Intrigued. Yeah. But like some people was trying to like clown. Like yeah. some people was really like laughing. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, yeah, of and course. I, and, I, and I don't know. I guess they ain't see the, they ain't see yeah. the vision. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, because <laughs> now, you know, I can attest to seeing uh, a lot of people with the Polaroids out there. You know, it's not, you know, not that it was ever a stigma or anything, but um, it's more commonplace now. I mean, but, um, people, people, a lot of people getting more. Uh, back in the film in general. Yeah, in general. Yeah. And um, you know, so a lot of people uh they 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 always wanted to get in the same way I love Polaroids, the same way yeah. a lot of other people love Polaroids. Yeah, of course. Simple as that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you watch the old commercials, like when I was watching the Retro Tech yeah. uh interview you did, and then I was seeing some of their archival footage they had of the the commercials and all that. Yeah, yeah it's it's a universal feeling yeah, being exactly. able to take a photo yeah, everybody and print it. it out right away. Everybody know? loves it, so it's not a, it's not it's not so much of a um of a thing it's like everybody loves it like, you know what I mean and that's a good thing yeah because that's gonna push uh everything forward you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying in, in my in my in my opinion like the more people that kind of get into it the, the the further it goes in, in yeah. a sense like you know what I'm of saying course. so um and to you what do you think it is not only about Polaroids but about just analog photography period that you personally connect with most you know especially because you started out digital but i know yeah, you yeah, felt yeah. something very different when you started uh, shooting yeah, analog. analog is just it's just it's 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 a deeper it's a deeper like connection you know what i mean it's like it's 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 a more meaningful photo mm -hmm. but film even if you're shooting on 35 you still got like 36 shots yeah so it's like you you still gotta 
be careful, not be careful, but like, you know, you, you're somewhat aware. particular, yeah, of what you're shooting because you only have a limited amount of shots. Mm-hmm. So with that limited amount of shots, you're going to be more aware and you're going to be more precise or yes. you're going to want to take a good photo as opposed to just taking any photo that you yes. can just take and delete. Because with the digital, you could just take it and delete it. And yeah. It's, and it's, and it's and like, you can no, reference the shot right away just by yeah, looking at it. And it's yeah. no problem. Like, you know what I mean? But with the, any type of analog, it's like, you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? In every aspect. And then eventually you just, it becomes natural to you. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're just, you're, you're being like, it's like you're really making a photo instead of taking a photo. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? The difference mm. between analog, I feel, and digital is like, That's deep. I mean, even digital, digital, you can make a photo too, but like, yeah. it's just so, um, you know almost what I'm saying? automatic in a sense. Yeah, in a sense, in a sense. Yeah. It's too, it's too easy almost. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's like, I respect digital. Yeah, I respect course, digital photography just as much as analog, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's a different vibe. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Because you really do have like a limited amount of shots, even if you have an unlimited amount of film, yeah. quote unquote, cause mm-hmm. it's, you know what I'm saying? It's going to run out eventually. <laughs> like, I mean, you know even what I'm just having to advance the lever, yeah, and take yeah, the yeah, time yeah, to do yeah. those minute things. And, and, you know, I always say I started out photography in analog yeah. and it kind of just, I guess for multiple reasons on my end, also because, you know, big bro, colleague, obviously, yeah, but, um, I was gifted my first analog camera by uh, my girlfriend at the at the time, probably back in like 2011 or so. Um, she was working at an airport, and um, she came to my crib one day, and she was just like, "Ah, some old man came up to me in the airport and just handed me this camera Where? and said, like, you know who to give it to, <laughs> like very like mysteriously." <laughs> and she was like, "She's like, she came, she came home, she's like, I don't that's know who crazy. to give this to, like, this nah, is for crazy. you, you know." It was uh, that's crazy. It was a uh, Nicromat. A Nikomat FT2, which I still have, Word. and um, still the primary yeah, uh, 35 yeah, yeah. millimeter camera I, I shoot with uh, SLR. And uh, I always say, like shooting on that camera and having the limited amount of photos per roll, not yeah, being able yeah. to see the photo, yes. that is what made me sharp as a photographer. Yeah, exactly. Especially when I transferred over to digital. Yeah. You know, because I feel like. Everything transfers over when you're learning, you know, apertures and proper exposure settings yeah. and just learning how to see light even without looking at the meter. All of that yeah. knowledge transfers over. Yeah, so yeah, I always yeah. suggest that even if you shoot digital, spend a little time with the analog, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, shoot yeah. on film for a little I bit. I love digital. Digital is yeah. amazing. Like digital is really amazing. Yeah. But analog is just a different vibe. It's like, you know what I mean? Um you know, and I, I mean, even with digital right now, like I'm using a digital camera to shoot the videos mm-hmm. and everything Likewise. like that. So I respect yeah. digital. Of course. I respect digital photography. And eventually I, you have to learn it inside of the digital camera too. Yeah. So it's like when I first started out. a whole different out, universe. Yeah. When I first started out, it wasn't so much. I wasn't trying to like learn it inside of the camera as mm-hmm. far as the digital. I was more just trying to take what I see, shoot what I see. Yeah. And that's why I gravitated towards film. Mm-hmm. And at the time, you know, not that many people were shooting film as far as um, using it. For art and stuff like that, I guess yep. you could say, like, you know, uh, I didn't really see it as much, but at the same time, it wasn't even on that, I wasn't even on that vibe. It was more just like, I, that's what I wanted to do. So yeah. I just did it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, that's what I, I, I felt in my heart. And so I just, I just went for it. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And that's, and that's pretty much like how I try to treat everything. So it's yeah. like, I don't, I don't try to like force it or do this because of that. But, yeah. you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's great that, um, Things form organically, you know. Yeah, exactly, on, um, exactly. You got a short film called Analog, the Analog sh- short film I saw on your website. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, real short. I don't know. I don't remember how long it was, yeah. but um, in in that, I remember you saying that um, you're not trying to be the best photographer ever. You're just trying to capture the most organic moments and yeah. the most amount of people that you possibly can. Why yeah, is it more yeah, important yeah. for you to, like, you know, capture organic moments and people and connections, feel that connection rather than just being a dope photographer, you know? I mean, well, you know, I want to take, I want to take the best photo I could take. That's a yeah. challenge. That's a, that's something I challenge myself to do, but it's more so why am I even taking that photo in the first place? You know what I mean? Like, why yeah. am I even inclined to take that photo in the first place? Whether it's going to be a good photo or not. Yeah. You could always take a technically good photo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's not, that's, that's not, I don't think that's um hard to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not necessarily hard to do. If you're technically 
knowledgeable in how mm-hmm. to use a camera that yeah. you could take a photo of anybody and it would technically be a good photo. Of course. But my my whole thing is why why am I, why do I even want to take this photo? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say like it's more about the moment more than the photo. Like, yeah. You know? And that's why wow, that's I great. shoot um different artists that I might be a fan of. Yes. Or, or different people that I, I know personally and different yeah. people that I, I come across and interact with in mm-hmm. a, in, in an organic way, in a genuine way. Yeah. It's like when I when I look at the photo, it's like, yo, I remember exactly what happened this day in yeah. town. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no photo that I would look at that I took that I would not remember because I took that photo for a reason. Yeah. You feel me? And it was really to capture that moment. Now, if I'm like, doing something on a uh, more of a business end or something like that. Like, cause I shoot a lot of events, like, you know what I mean? It's like, I still remember that photo cause I was there for that time. But a lot of the times I'm, I'm kind of just like shooting it in, in a sense where it's like, you know, it's event photography, yes. you know what I'm saying? So I can't get, I can't always get artistic with event it's not photography. not always through your you know eye. What I'm You're also seeing in the eye of the client. Yeah, exactly. Client. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it's like, so there's two sides to photography, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, but I, as far as like all of the Polaroid photography that people see from 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 what I've been doing, that's more like just like the I'm doing that organically, like just because that's what I want to do. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? There's no motive behind that more than like yeah, pure passion. It's just yeah, exactly. Like there's no ulterior motives, nothing. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's just yeah. I'm just doing that. I'm doing that because I'm because I, I, I'm honestly a fan of what you're doing. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or I felt a genuine connection with you. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like of course, man. That's what I um when we first started running into each other, it was in those exact moments of, you know, I was just going to shows just to capture the artist. You yeah, know, I remember yeah, seeing you at, you know, Rhett shows and, yeah, facts, you know, all, all types of different shows back in the day. And um, I feel like that's what translates most in, especially analog photography. You can really see the photographer's eye through the photo and almost yeah. feel the connection a little bit more of yeah, why they took that shot, like you say, yeah, you know, exactly. and, um, I don't know. It's like it's hard to articulate, but you could almost feel feel the intention a little bit more, and um, it's just a beautiful thing. You know, yeah. recently I've only in 2019. It's 2020 now, but only in 2019 have I purchased a digital camera for photography, and um, for me, it's been such a beautiful experience to be shooting digitally because when I go back to my analog cameras, it's kind of reinvigorated that just fun and excitement, yeah, 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 you know, and I'm sure you feel the same thing. Cause I've been seeing for about a little over a year now, you've been doing these videos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what has made you want to start doing these short edits, you know, event coverage, travel stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like with the videos. Well, so the ironic thing I was telling you, I really wanted to get into video before I really, um, uh, got into photography. Like video was more my, 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 Something that I saw myself getting into. Yeah. Um, but I didn't have I didn't have the resources to make videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like one being a, um my own digital camera, mm-hmm. at which at the time, you know, still now it's like at least a thousand dollars for a good camera. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So um and and at the time I ended up for that Polaroid camera, like that pol- my first Polaroid camera was twenty five dollars. Even <laughs> even though I wow. kept buying film over and over and over, like I kept buying film like once a week, like I was saying. Yeah. Uh, the actual camera itself was only twenty five dollars, so yeah, that's like, wow. oh, boom! I'm gonna just go with this real quick. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, so uh, the resources I didn't have was a camera, and I, and of course, like a computer, like a high processing computer that to could actually, all that. you know, to yeah. edit. Like you know what I'm saying? I didn't have those things at the time. I'm just running around, like you know, just doing my thing. But yeah. you know, I um, I didn't have the resources to make videos that at the time. So like now, now they, always wanted to. but I always wanted to. So like now, like I guess in the past, I guess year or so is when I really start getting into videos because I'm just get, getting the resources together. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's really been like, I used to edit even videos when I, I used to try to edit videos back in the day. So I had like experience yeah. with editing software. So mm-hmm. it wasn't nothing to get into now. So like now it's like to edit is like, I could, I could turn around a video in one day. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I could sit there for a couple of hours and like really yeah. crank out a video. Like That's what, what I've noticed most about you. Uh, we were speaking before the podcast, just, um, I could just tell that you have a very efficient setup. Of course, just the way you move, you know, yeah, you got yeah, this, yeah. the stabilizer and, yeah, facts, can, and you, you're moving very close to people. I could tell it's a very, uh, swift setup, but beyond facts. that, I see you shoot. 
I see you posting a very dope edited video from an event that happened sometimes just a few hours prior. Like, you know, like, like yesterday yeah, or some the same shit. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay, this yeah. dude obviously is not... It's an not. amateur when it comes to well, I am him, though, know, but it's like you know what I'm saying. But you have a vision, <laughs> you, you know. Me? You know I, what I see as what I what but I make a difference shit. of is like sometimes you see people in their edits or where they're at in the stage in their career where they have a vision but they can't really execute it that well. Yeah, yeah. And um, for you, when I see your edits, I'm like, okay, it, the fact that you're turning them around so fast for one, but two, I could see. Oh, he has a vision of how he wants this yeah. to look. I already see the. I see the final product yeah. before. Yeah, you I can see, see the that final the product before I even start. Like yeah. sometimes, sometimes I really. It's crazy like that. Like I see the final, I see the final video before I even start shooting anything. Like you know what I'm saying. Like right now, I want it to look in a way. Like you know what I mean. So that's been fun. Yeah, just getting into videos like that's 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 real fun. Like that's that's mm -hmm. actually fun. That's, yeah. that's fun. That's fun to me. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So, of course. Yeah, it's man. Just, it's just, it's just. Yeah, the video the video grind is um it's so similar but it's also so different than, yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah, photos. Yeah. Photos, yeah, exactly. Like it's almost with like it's well it's motion pictures. You yeah. feel me? And mm -hmm. that's what I feel like I always wanted to do. I always wanted to make motion pictures. Like, I never really wanted... Like, photography wasn't something that I saw myself ever doing. Yeah. It was like, let me get into this. Mm -hmm. Let me see what this is about. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, I always saw myself mm -hmm. making videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, do you see yourself uh, venturing even heavier into the video realm? Yeah, of course. I want to learn more. You okay. know what I'm saying? I, I, wanna, I got a lot to learn. Different cameras. Yeah. Different setups. Different treatments. Mm -hmm. Different... Uh, working with different people. Yeah, you know I can see I mean? you making like, some dope music videos, man. Like you know, I want to. Well, I want to do that, and I yeah. want to get into. Um, I really. I mean, I like documentary style work. Yeah. Um, telling a story. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I like I like fast paced videos in a sense. Yeah. So so it's like I like the I like the short form where it's like it's just quick, and then I also like the telling a long form story. Like I want to get into that. Like eventually, I want to have a couple of documentaries. Under my oh, belt, man. like you know I can what I'm saying, it like, easily, man. But it's just time. Yeah, it's just time. Yeah, putting everything together. You're on like, your you know way, man. I mean? yeah, yeah, man. Speaking of that, um, I see that not only do you have a vision for how you want the end result to be of a lot of these things you're shooting, but you just got a dope vision in general, man. And um, looking, I want bro. you to speak about <laughs> uh, polar words of people, man. Oh yeah, it's a so, beautiful yeah. brand, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like really, I haven't almost felt embarrassed when I was on the website. I was like, wow, I did not know that PV had such a dope website with oh, yeah, so yeah, much dope looking. content, no, good man. Looking, good yeah, looking. Polar Words <laughs> of People is a, is a beautiful brand, man. What made you yeah. start that and and want to document more other photographers as well who are shooting analog? Yeah, so Polar Words of People is a website that's dedicated to uh, analog and polar photographers. It's, it's exactly what the name says. It features different people who take Polaroids of people. Mm -hmm. So it features the, the the photographers and it features the people. You yes. know what I mean? And also Polaroids of people, it represents just the feeling of of taking like one of your first photos. Because everybody's like, a lot of people's first photos was like a Polaroid photo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or well, that's their earliest memory mm. of a of a photo. Like yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's like the whole feeling. That's the vibe. But the website itself, it features different photographers from around yep. the world who... um. I developed like a relationship with online mm -hmm. and they uh they have their portfolios a part of their portfolios is on the website so it's like a portfolio based website yeah. featuring different polaroid photographers using that. the different polaroid mediums in different ways so it's like everybody's photography on there is polaroid yeah but at the same time it's everything is so different of course and it's a wide range of photographers from from literally from around the world so like those and and the photographers that's on the main website, those are just like, you know, like sources of inspiration. Yes. But at the same time, if you go to the Instagram, we feature like uh, different photographers, like of all levels, of all yeah. everything. Like, you know what I mean? Who yeah. shoot, who shoot like dope photos and we acknowledge that. We mm -hmm. acknowledge them as artists. You know what I'm saying? Like they yeah. photographers, but they also artists creating, creating art. Yeah. So, uh, you know what I mean? And it's fun, you know? So that's, um, that's, that's, that's the portfolio section. Then we got, a uh, gift shop where we yep. where we uh we basically create and sell different polar related items and yeah. stuff like that or the like analog crazy, analog man. merch I love, yeah I love the looking. merch you guys got on there not really man looking. you got the pins you got yeah, the sweaters you got stuff the like shirts that. Yeah, you got everything man so so it's on it's all uh, you know analog related so we trying to make it fun trying to make it colorful mm -hmm. you know um 
and, and we just a community of photographers. You know what I mean? And, yes. and it's kind of it's kind of equal opportunity. If anybody wants to wants to wants to work with me or, or wants to be on the part of the website or something yeah. like that, it's nothing to just reach out to me. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, I but, think that's why I don't know where the where the term came from, where the name came from, the the mayor of Polaroids. But I feel like oh yeah, I don't know. You are you, <laughs> are, you have a mayor type energy to you in a sense because <laughs> you're very much open to bringing people into collaborating yeah, with yeah. you. You're not I, like, I, I really, that's what it's you know? about. That's yeah. really what it's about. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's bigger than me personally. Yeah. I feel like. You're very um, community oriented when it comes to I, photography. I, see. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's important. You yeah. feel me? Because, um, it's one thing to, uh, enjoy the photo from just, uh, I guess you could say, uh, um, a, a fan's perspective. But like when you can like link with other photographers who yeah. enjoy the medium the same way you do, that's kind of I think that's that's also dope in itself too, and it creates a community, and, and you can become fans of each other. Yeah, like, and like I think that's dope. Um, and, and 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 also it gives a voice to the photographers because there's a lot of photography over the years. Like a lot of people are responsible for for the visual aspect of a lot of uh, dope. Uh, other uh, uh, artists and, and, yes. and musicians and stuff like that, and nobody knows who took the photo. Yes, all the time. Like, and, no, and people would be like, "Yo, like I, I, I used to sit there before I even got into photography. Yeah. I swear to God, I used to look at different pictures and be like, "Yo, who took this? Yeah, me like, too. Like man. who did? Like, 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 I used to look at album covers. Like, yo, I wonder who took yeah, this. Yeah, and it wasn't always easy to find out. <laughs> I never knew until yeah. like a couple years ago, maybe yeah. like when Instagram came out. Yeah. Like I still like some mm -hmm. photographers, I'll be, I'll be looking at their work like, oh, that's crazy. He yeah. shot that. And I'm just discovering this. So it's like, that was like something that was important to me to give photographers a voice yes. behind their work. So that's dope. And then we just, I'm just trying to make it fun. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And then um, also we shoot a lot of events. So you can mm -hmm. hire us to shoot events. What we do is, we shoot, we come through to your events, we shoot like hundreds of Polaroids. Beautiful. We distribute them to people. I uh, see everybody some of the gets work, their Polaroids. Man, it's great. And, and, wow. and, 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 and it's fun. Like, you know what I mean? And we and um there's a whole service and a whole package um that that comes along with the Polaroids yeah. and stuff like that. So it's a whole thing. And um and yeah, so that's a, that's Polaroids of people in a nutshell, but yeah. it's pretty much like a community yeah. oriented type of thing. Man, and, that's uh, that's so cool, man. Especially the event photography with Polaroids. Yeah, I feel looking, like that's yeah. that's a very different way to cover an event. Yeah, um, people like that. Yeah. A lot of people like that, and it's just something for them to take home. Of and uh, we do it. We do it in our special way. Like you know what I mean. Like we don't do it. We don't just come through and take a poll and give it to you. Like we, it's something. It's there's things yeah. that we do to make it an experience. You mm, know what I'm saying? So yeah, there's um there's that aspect, and uh, yeah. And then you got polarized of people TV. Yeah, as we, well. then we got polarized of people TV. So mm -hmm. now with the videos and everything that I'm doing with the videos. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm directing videos that are uh, based around Polaroid photography, yes. or just photography in general, or mm -hmm. just telling us the the story of the people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's really the people too. Like the people are the most important part because like those are the people that we take pictures of. You yeah. Know what I mean? So like we could always take pictures of like landscapes and and things like that, and mountains and stuff like that, and trees. That's a, that's amazing yeah. of nature. But like what really drives me is is interacting with people. So. The people are more important, not, not more important, but just as important as a photographer. Yeah. But it's like with polarized the people, it's like they're equally important. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. Like, and you're a documentarian in so many ways because you're asking people questions as you're photographing them. You know, you're yeah. you're or you're evoking a story just out of the way you frame somebody up. You know, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. A lot, a lot is said through through story. a beautiful a story. portrait. Yeah, it's a story. Like you feel me? Yeah, it's a story. Yeah, it's, man, it's, it's it's crazy, but you know, you have a you have like a story that sticks out to you about either a Polaroid you took on the street or of a, a well known person. I mean, I know you you shot people from Jay to Drake like, to Alicia just, Keys to. Nah, it's just, it's a lot of know. it's a lot of it's it's every story is different. So it's like <laughs> it's really it's kind of crazy how um it's not it's nothing that it's, it's so much that sticks out it's yeah, like I wouldn't even yeah, know where to start yeah, yeah, almost yeah, like know. you know what I'm saying like like every story is different it's like you, if you look at anything on my website um or anything on the, uh, Instagram I mean there's a story behind every poll yeah word. you gotta you gotta share the Hove story man because that well, photo yeah. is is one I love his facial expression it's crazy his stature it's kind of crazy that how he looked yeah. like that there's a reason he yeah. looked like that too <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you <laughs> well share as much as you would like if, if you're if you're well, willing to 
So um, that was actually on his, on set one of his videos that he had did. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you remember Picasso Baby. Yeah, yeah. So, for Pic- sure. uh, so Picasso Baby, if you really look at the video, it's filled with a lot of um, different people, mm-hmm. and then some people that he features uh, on camera. Yep. So those are the people that came through and like people that were scheduled to be there. But a lot of the people that was in the video were just um, just just just. So what happened, for real, what happened was I got a, I used to get 4040 Club emails. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, for some reason, I signed up to the mailing list. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know why. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Would you like, go I often? I, I didn't even, I, I've yeah. probably been there like once or twice yeah, before that. Yeah. And like, you know, I've been there, but like, I don't even go to clubs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know why I signed up, but I signed up to the, <laughs> to the mailing list. <laughs> and uh, I got the email and it was like, yo, do you want to be in a Jay-Z video today? Wow. Real, real talk. It was just, that's exactly what it said. Wow. Like, and all you had to do was show up to the, uh, show up to the 4040 club mm-hmm. and then they'll take you from the 4040 club to where the video was being shot yeah. at, which is really like 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? From the 4040 club. Um, so we go, they, we, first of all, I'm like, yo, I don't even know if this is like, should I even, is this worth it? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but I'm, I'm on that type of time. Like, yo, let me just see it. Mm-hmm. So uh, I hit my man, uh, V, my, 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 my man Vince and uh, yeah. my man Vinny Love. And, and uh, I think he pulled up, but I was really kind of there by myself. Like, I, I seen people there that I knew, yeah. but I kind of just went by myself, like in a way, like, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, and I went with my Polaroid camera. So we go to the video set. And Hope was right there. Yeah. Like, he right yeah. there. Like, it's <laughs> he crazy. ain't hidden away. He like, ain't, like, no secret. Like, no yeah, he's not security. hidden. Yeah. He's not, like, in the <laughs> secret area. Like, he's right there. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, but it was still, like, you can't just walk up to him. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Of yeah. course you couldn't just walk up to him. So, crazy story. How I really got that photo at that time is... I was actually feeling sick that day. Mm-hmm. So, if you look, it's a whole thing with, like... Uh, people around him and he's like in the middle of like what it looks like an art gallery yep. so all those people are just like the people that probably got the email Yeah. Like or people that they I don't even know how they contacted certain people but like mm-hmm. it, was, it was just like people who just felt like coming you know what I'm saying and it was a Jay-Z video so it's like well, who gonna turn that down so people yeah. are just there they shuffling it's like hundreds of people though Like yeah, so they shuffling yeah, yeah. people wow. throughout the whole thing and I got there at one of the last sessions Okay. feel me so I'm sick though so like literally oh, like man. I'm sick. Literally it's <laughs> like yo I'm throwing up. Like yeah. I, st- I started throwing wow. up. Wow. Right. Wow. So actually actually I didn't even throw up yet. So yeah. I actually <laughs> was in the cut. Like they're shooting the video. Mm-hmm. Feel me? And I'm just like behind everybody like sitting down. Yeah. On, in a chair. And they and everybody probably looking at me like yo why this nigga not trying to be in the video? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm <laughs> I'm 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 just chilling in the um in the in in the cut. And then I was like, yo, is there garbage anywhere around here? Like, yeah. I got to throw up. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. really? I'm like, yo, <laughs> you know, and, and and fast forward a little bit, I ended up going to the hospital later that day oh for dehydration. Wow. So I was actually dehydrated during that wow. video shoot. You know, I was dehydrated when I took that Polaroid of him. But so now wow. get back That's to now. That's sacrifice, man. So now, but I didn't know. I yeah, just thought my yeah. stomach was hurting. It's yeah. a summer day. I'm like, yo, why my stomach killing me? Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on. You feel mm-hmm. me? Um, and I guess when you get dehydrated, you just start losing fluids. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, very much so. You know what I'm saying? Your body's drying out. You, yeah, your so, brain's not functioning properly. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so so now they take me to the back area. Yeah. But that back area is where Hove ended up coming mm-hmm. when the video, uh, when he was done shooting his part for the video. Yes. So there's nobody back there necessarily. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm back there with like a couple of people from the crew. Mm-hmm. Like, but it's like, I'm, and security is like just letting me rock because they like, oh, he's, he's just throwing up. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. But long story short, maybe like five minutes later or 10 minutes later, Hove ends up coming to that area where I'm at because that's mm-hmm. the back area. And it's not really like a, um, like a secret area. It's just, yeah. it's just right around the corner. Yep. Um, so he comes back there and, um, so now <laughs> here comes the <laughs> crazy part. I, I take out my camera and the thing with the Polaroid camera is that you have to have the flash attached. If you don't have the flash attached, if there's no flash to register, the camera won't expose. Mm, or yes. if it, like, if it does, it would do like a delay. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I took out my camera and I thought I thought I had the flash exposed and the flash wasn't I mean the flash uh attached, attached yeah. and it wasn't attached so mm-hmm. it wasn't exposed so now Hove is like 
He lets me take the Polaroid. He's like, yo, I ask him. I literally just go up to him. I ask him. What happened also to the homie um, Dayton Thomas, uh, he actually, yeah. he kind of like asked him for me in a way. But yeah. like, I thought he, I hope <laughs> probably thought that I was going to take a picture with him. Yes. But I wanted to take a picture of him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I don't know. I'm not even sure what, what Dayton had thought. Like, yeah. For, for, so <laughs> I, I, I ended up uh, taking out my camera and I thought I had the flash attached, but the flash wasn't attached. And so that hope is like really waiting. Oh, for the, wow. For the picture, you feel me? And he's, wow. like, he's letting me take it, you yeah. feel me? And, like, I don't even know why he let me take it because it's, like, not even why, but, like, I, he just let me take it, yeah. you feel me? Whatever. Yeah. So now it's, like, it won't expose. Mm -hmm. So now it's, like, yo, damn, I'm trying to fix my camera now. This all happened within five seconds, but yeah. it felt like forever. Of course. <laughs> so now within the whole five seconds, I'm, like, oh, snap, I got to attack, boom. Mm -hmm. So now I attach it because I thought it was attached. It looked like it was attached. So yeah. now I just got to push it down. Yeah, lock it in. Yeah, lock yep. it in. But now he's waiting for the flash. Yeah. So if you look at the picture, it looks like he's low-key, like, waiting for the flash. Yeah, so, he looks like, like, like he's getting ready for he's something. He's like he's getting ready. Yeah, yeah. so, like, he's low-key just waiting for the flash. And so then that's when I took it. Mm -hmm. And then um, I didn't even ask him to write on it or nothing like that off the strength that he let me take it twice. Word, you feel me? Word up. Like, he then yeah. let me, like... Yeah, like, like, like he let me nah, just, like, respect, like, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, yo, let me let him just, like, because yeah, I'm like, yo, I don't even know what just happened. Yeah. Like, and now, <laughs> this whole time, I'm still feeling sick. Yeah. So now, I turn around, I got my Polaroid, he leaves, and within, like, the next five seconds. Like, so now that whole yeah. interaction was 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> like me, wow. me being back there, boom, threw up. Yeah. He comes back there, trying to get my camera together. The dude asked him, I'm dead. My, my camera not working. I fixed my camera. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I take the picture, boom. He mad. He talking for a little bit. Then he dips. That's all 30 seconds. Yeah. You feel me? He leaves like, like a ghost in the in the night. Yeah. Like, I, yo, bro, like he got he got out of there so quick yeah. and like so unfazed. And it was just like, yo, he's just out. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So now I'm there still sick. I'm wow. with my man, my man Vinny, and like and I you're go really sick. So now, and I got the yeah. Polaroid in my back pocket, yeah. bro. I go outside to the corner. And I'm like, yo, I can't do this. I just sit on the corner, yeah. And I just like lay down. I'm laying down on the on the floor, <laughs> bro, on the on the on the on the on the, on the, on the ground yeah. on 14, yeah. not 14. It's like 20. It's like 20, 20, 30, yeah, 24th right on street. the sidewalk. I'm on the sidewalk like this. <laughs> Like, yo, I can't do this. I don't know what's going on. So then eventually I went home. And then when I went home, I still was feeling sick. Like, yeah, yo, I got to go yeah. to the hospital. And then I went to the hospital. Oh, my mom took me to the hospital. That's when I ended up finding out I was dehydrated. Yeah. But the whole time, I didn't even tell my mom. So I just was with Hove. Yeah. Like, just wow. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like nobody don't even know this except yeah. Yeah. nobody knows this except my man, Benny, who was with me. Yeah. That like out of wow. out of life. So I can't I can't even tell nobody the story. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm in a hospital. I'm yeah. like, yo, I gotta get out of here because I gotta like, yeah. at least tell somebody what the hell just of happened. Course. Like I gotta get out of here for Make my sure for my, for my sake. Yeah, for my health, <laughs> for my health. Yeah. But also like, yo, I gotta tell somebody what just happened. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I can't tell nobody what happened for like another day. Like, wow. <laughs> like, you feel me? That's I, ended up, wild, I ended up getting out, getting out the hospital that night, but then I was like, yo, I'm I don't even have the strength to text and talk yeah. to nobody. So I was yeah. like, yo. I just, I, so now I'm telling people what happened a day later. Yeah. And it's like, nobody was even there to experience it with me. It was like, yeah. yo. That's crazy. I just, I just met Hove. He let me take the Polaroid. <laughs> the whole shit happened when I was throwing up five minutes before he came. Yeah. You laid out on the sidewalk. I laid out on the afterwards. sidewalk after. <laughs> and then wow. it's like, that's, that was, hold on. And then it's like, yo. That was Hove, you feel yeah. me? So it's like, I didn't even get a chance to try to get my little one second, two seconds in the yeah, video. Yeah. I'm, I don't even care about the video. Yeah. I was about Hell to no. die. Like, yeah. you feel me? <laughs> like, that's how I felt yeah. in the back. I'm like, yeah. yo, what's going on? And that's why the security guards, they let me rock. Because yeah. they was like, yo, he looking like he's sick. Wow. But I didn't want to leave because it's like, you know what I'm saying? So after all this, even the day after, um, how did you feel just about capturing the photo? Were you... Were you visibly hype? I, look, I looked at the photo and I was like, yo, he looks like, he looks dope. It's Jay-Z, but it's not the, it's not the ideal yeah, how I yeah, wanted him to look. Yeah. You know Because I, mean? I like people to be a little more relaxed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'll come through. Of course. Like, but it looked like he kind of like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but I but he like, got the whole I thing like that the for some paint, reason. Yeah, that, I like, like that for some reason in the photo. Yeah. It looks like, it does, it's, I don't know, it's not, it looks like a real, it was a real moment. It was a 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 moment. And it was like, and then the whole thing with the flash not working, it was a moment. And, yeah. um, you know, that was a moment. Like, yeah. that was a moment. And I, and like, 
That's just one moment. <laughs> Have you told that story publicly before? I don't think so. Yo, like, that's crazy, I I, man. I, like people who I, love like, that, I don't man. even know. But no, nah, I never told that. I never that's really, deep, man. And that's like and that's like me just like at that time of my life, I was just everywhere all the time trying to just get that photo that I wanted. So when I when they said it's like, yo, you want to be in a Jay-Z video, I'm like, all right, well, I'm I'm gonna get a Jay-Z Polaroid today. So it's like when I started feeling sick, it's like, all right, well. I'm not leaving. Yeah. Like I'm a, I'm gonna thug this out. Yeah. Like and I didn't even know, bro, I was dehydrated. Yeah. Like I, that was that's really dangerous. You, you could have fell out. And I didn't know. Yeah. You could have passed out I while, didn't know, while bro. shooting home. I didn't even know. Yeah, like yeah. I could have threw up on hold. <laughs> I could have threw up on hold. Like, yo, like you yo. feel me? Like and I was really yo. and I was like, yo, I'm not leaving here. I'm not dipping. Yeah. And that's that's really the, that's my energy when it comes yeah, to a lot of things. Deep, like man. I'm not leaving here or I'm not I'm not I'm not finishing until I do what I got to do. Like, you know what I'm I saying? That, like, man. And that's why, I, that's how I end up getting a lot of stuff. And uh, even when it comes to um, like the video work, it's like getting, being at the certain right places at the right time. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like with that, with the West Side video, like yep. that, like, you know, like I'm, I'm just there like anybody else. Yeah. Keep it a hundred. Like yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a special yeah, photographer. Yeah, I'm not, not I'm not. for hire or anything. Yeah, I'm not yeah. for hire. Yeah. Nothing like that right there at that moment. Mm. I'm like, yo, if you had a camera, you could have did the same thing. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. And that's, you, you that's on like, stage though. You that's just, how I do though. Finessed. But yeah, that's no, how I do. No, it is actually. You know, I ain't gonna, that but well. Nah, well, the thing about it is that the team was showing love. Like you feel okay, me? Like your yeah, team was showing love. So yeah. like you know, that's how I ended up getting on stage. But even even in in, in other situations, it was like, yo, that's how I do. Like you feel me? And I'm just gonna be. And I'm and I and I know when not to do too much in a certain situation. Course, like you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta play cool. Sometimes yeah. you might not be able to. Yeah. But it's like with the videos now. It's like, yo. It's motion pictures, so it's like, yo, I'm just rolling. Exactly. I'm just, I'm just keeping it rolling. You don't got to frame. Like, you don't got to, yeah, you know, rolling. direct. Yeah. You just, you I'm just, just rolling. Yeah. And then, like, I like I already know what I want to do as far as, like, cinematically how I want it to look. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like cinematic videos. I'm more like a cinematic, mm -hmm. more than, like, a over over editor. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people over of edit, like, to, like, but I like to more make yeah. it look cinematic. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I like to do a mix of both sometimes, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? But and you shoot a lot of slow motion, right? When, yeah, when you're like shooting. a lot of slow okay. motion. Like I like I like the slow motion shots. Yeah, you know, speed Me it too, up, man. You know that's 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 kind of uh, stuff that I like to shoot. Yeah, and that's like you know and I'm kind of developing a certain style, I guess you could say. 100%, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see I see it very clearly with this with the speed ramping and yeah, just like the, the in and develop, outs. You know, yeah, the transitions yeah. are fire. Trying and, to develop a certain. Yeah, style, you for know? me, it's not genuinely, man. I'm not just saying this. It's not like. Anybody else is really like I see it as PV style of editing. Like, like, looking. like if, if looking. someone posted a video and it wasn't up from your IG, but it was one of yours, I'd be like, yo, okay, this is, a, this is this is shot by PV, you know. Like looking, yeah, I'm trying to develop, like you know, saying, yeah. saying, and that's even with the Polaroids, I kind of did that without even realizing I was mm -hmm. doing that. Yeah, like I developed a certain style mm -hmm. with the writing on the Polaroid, with the PV on the top. Yeah, with the with the, with the cool calm portrait. Like that's like a style that I kind of just developed and didn't even realize I was developing. Yeah, that. Like, you know what I'm saying. It was just coming it's from just, you. It, it was wasn't just, preconceived. It wasn't preconceived enough, and it was yeah. like the style was developed as I was doing it, and and not necessarily the style, but it's like my whole collection looked like that. Like my yeah. everything looks like that. Like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. So it's not like one looks like that or it's a one off or like oh yeah. he just, it's like yo everything looks. Everything it looks like yeah. a certain like you know what I'm saying. That's like, one thing I would love to touch on when it comes to not not only analog photography but just photography in general and just creation in general. How important is it to you, and what advice would you maybe have for someone who wants to establish a style? This is one of the biggest questions most photographers ask. Uh, you know, like whatever you do is your style. Yeah, and you just got to do what you do, mm. and you can't. You literally can't try to um, do. Uh, what somebody else is doing and think that might fit you, it might, but at the same time, it's like you just gotta do you. Yeah, that's that's it, really. Like, you just gotta do you. Like, yeah. and, and and I think your work will speak. You know, and the thing about social media is like that's how I got my work out there a lot with social media. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But like social media in itself is 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 not even your style. It's more so like social media is more like a. And it's like you got to get into the tech world. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like that's yeah. like it's more than just it's the more photo. than just yeah. a photo. Yeah. So like some people might not be feeling like they getting the feedback, mm -hmm. but some people might might not be feeling like that satisfaction of that recognition. But that's only because you might not be um, tapped into like the other side of Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like 
in a sense where it's like I think you should just continue to do you. Yeah. And like whatever hit on on social media it hit. Yeah. And uh, you know people even though it might not even do numbers, it's like people still looking. Yeah. So that's one. Thing. That's great advice, man. I think um, you know even me early on my path, uh, very much so often you see what works for somebody else and you try to emulate. And um, even in a sense, there's nothing wrong with that because yeah. you're learning. You know, yeah, we're, yeah, all, yeah. we're all learning. But, yeah, yeah. but what comes from you yeah. is always what's going to shine through is your style. Yeah, you like, know? You, yeah, it, 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 it just, like, you know, yeah. you know, it speaks for itself almost. Yeah. Like, and, um, and for some people, the style may not even be an aesthetic or the way they edit, but it just may be their surroundings. It may be the group of people yeah, they're always yeah, hanging yeah, out yeah, with. Yeah. And, that's, and that could be, and that's yeah. something that's also It may be very, a location um, that yeah. they're always hanging around. You know, some people always think a style is just exactly how the photo looks. Yeah. Sometimes it's more of the stories you're the telling. stories, yeah, you know? exactly. That's really, that's really what breaks through, too, is um, if they could feel the, the vibe through the photo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if they could, uh, you know, if they could interpret the story through the photo. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely, They can man. feel that. Like, you know, people yeah. can feel it. Like, you know? That's why people love the humans of New York so much. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the, the storytelling side of it. Yeah. Uh, humans in New York is is one of the greatest, to me. Yeah. Storytelling uh, f- photographers. Yeah, for sure. Like, ever. Like, yeah, beautifully like, done, man. Yeah. It's, I I love, I love yeah. humans in New York. It never came off as inauthentic or scripted. Yeah. Or, humans in New know? York is like, what, what I... What I would inspire polaroids of people to be in a mm. sense. Like, because the way I look at polaroids of people is a lot of people might uh, recognize some of my work from like different uh, faces that I'm shooting. Yeah. But polaroids of people is like all people. Yeah. Or like, you so my whole thing is I could tell a different story every day mm. by just going outside yeah. and just finding a person. Wow. Why can't I just find a person? Yeah. It's like, yeah, it might not be a famous person or it might not be a, a a well-known person, yeah. but it's a person. Yeah, that's how I feel. So it's like I could always tell I, I could tell a story of a stranger, mm-hmm. just me and them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So and, it's and like it could connect just as much, and it could connect know? just. Yeah. And I feel like that's what humans in New York does because yes. he don't have like, uh, like celebrities on his yeah. page no, and like no. telling their story. Like he don't. Yeah. Like he's telling the everyday person's story. Yeah. You know how fire that is. Yeah. Like, do you, like do you know how fire that is to connect with a a stranger? And I, and I don't mean like a stranger that everybody else is trying to connect with, like IE, like a celebrity. Yeah, and that's that's still a stranger too. You don't know these people, like you know what I'm saying. But an everyday person. But I'm talking about like a everyday going outside, yeah. just like oh yo, what's up? What's your story? Like on the, when I'm on the train, that's all I'm thinking. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking. Like yo, what's this person's story? That's all I'm thinking. I'm not thinking nothing else, like, for the most part. Like, yeah. like I'm like, if I'm listening to music, I'm listening to music. But if I'm on a train, I'm just thinking, like, what's this person's story? Well, I know what a lot of people are wondering. And um, another very common question uh, aspiring photographers ask is, how do you approach people? Because there's this, you know, the discussion is getting even deeper now. Do you ask permission? Do you approach the person with respect? Do you, you know, every single photographer has a different approach to photography. Photographing a stranger. And I, I like what, to just. What, what, I like what to, works for you? I like to just tell, like like I walk up to a person and I feel like my vibe is just you know my vibe is not intimidating. Yeah, so even peace. though I'm, like, yeah, I'm all it's like peace. You know, I I'll straight go up to them like peace. I'm out here taking photos. You know, I was wondering if you would be interested in taking a quick Polaroid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like and and then they look at the camera and they be like, all right, why not? And most of the time it's like, yo, you ain't come outside. Or dressed up for nothing, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So people, people be like, "Yeah, I'll take a picture," like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so, yeah. so a lot of people, they not really. Um, a lot of people are not, you know, if you as long as you approach them in the right way, a lot of people are not uh, opposed to taking a picture, especially a Polaroid. Yeah. And then, like when it comes to like, I guess celebrities and stuff like that, like I do the same exact thing. I'm yeah. Keep it hundred. Like, yeah. I do the, it's, it's literally the same thing. I don't even. There's no, you don't say, yo, I love your stuff nah, so much. Like, I, I, mean, I might, you know, I might, maybe. I might, yeah, I might yeah. tell him, but on some humble, like, yo, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you feel me? But I'm not about to, I'm not running pegging. down. Yeah, like, I'm not running down like that. I'm running down, like, I, I'll talk to them. I'll talk to everybody the same. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, it's really the same thing, same vibe, yeah. same everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's cool. People are people worldwide. Like, people are people. Like, of course. I even went to Portugal. Um, Was that Portugal? Was that in Sweden? Nah, what was that? Copenhagen? 
We was in Denmark. Okay. Yeah, 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 I, was, yeah, was in yeah. Denmark. I, I was seen, in Denmark. I seen some of the Yeah, footage. I was in Denmark and like, you know, I, 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 like, of course they speak English out there, but yes. like, you know, I'm out there taking pictures of people. Yeah. Followers of people, they with it. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm people just talking, fun. I'm people talking were, to them the yeah. same way that I would talk to somebody in Brooklyn. Yeah. I'm talking to somebody in Denmark the mm-hmm. same way I'm talking to somebody in was Brooklyn. Was that where you shot some footage of, uh, Homie who was dancing, break dancing, yeah, yeah he was break dancing, yeah. like you know what I'm saying, like I'm just, I just ran down on him. Mm-hmm. I had my girl with me. My girl was, uh, she was, she was helping me shoot. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, it's just love, like, you yeah, know? man. I wanted to ask you, man, because uh, I've been seeing, you know, the polar polar of people TV, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of footage of you shooting. I'm like, yo, who is filming PV? <laughs> so I know when you travel, it's, yeah, it's your yeah, wife, yeah. Shorty. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So my, so my wife, she, she, wow. she. So this whole thing is, I'm using a gimbal. With yes. a, so that's pretty much like a stabilizer mm-hmm. with the camera. And she has a vision too. Like she's, she's really creative. Yeah. Like she, that's she, she, man. she paints. She draws. She's amazing. She, she got a good eye for, um, for home decor. You yeah. know what I mean? She got a, she got <laughs> okay. a good eye. She, she got a good taste. Like she's yeah. an amazing chef. Like, yeah, you know I what I'm always saying? see you guys cooking you up know? on Instagram. So, so she got, she got, she got, she got her own vision and she, yeah. she, she got her own vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she, when she shoots, it's a whole thing. It was, I'm editing everything though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, yo, with the, with the gimbal, it's really, it's really, it's really, a, it's a, it's a vibe. The gimbal is a vibe. Like once mm-hmm. you get your hands on the gimbal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. dope, man. She got skills because because I'll be watching. I'm like, oh wow, whoever's behind the camera, yeah, yeah, they know what they're doing as yeah, well. She knows she's doing. Yeah, yeah. So that, you that's know. dope, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, man, I feel like you have so much more work to do in your career, and I can see you going down so many different avenues. I can see us having the same podcast a year from now, and you be be doing some other venture re- regarding creativity in some way um outside of photography and video is there anything you'd want to do or anything you're interested um, in yeah i mean well you also make dope clothing and apparel so, yeah, so the clothing yeah so the apparel that 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 stems from the graphic design yeah so basically like i said i, I told myself photoshop since i was like 13 mm-hmm. i've been doing that since 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 junior high school you know what yeah. I'm saying? high school um so that's where the clothing kind of like started yeah you know what i'm saying because yeah. it's, it's kind of easy for me to make a design I, it's 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 a it's a challenge to come up with the concept, mm-hmm. but once I got the concept, I, I know I can make it. Like if if you if you have an idea, I mean, if you write it on paper, yeah, I can make it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Dope. So um, I could get it made, or like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, also, I do a lot of uh, I guess you could call it um, uh, product management. Okay. So if you need something made, if mm-hmm. you need something done. I can make it as far yeah. as like, so I make pins. Mm-hmm. I do like, you know, uh, uh, novelty items, all types yes. of novelty items. If yeah. you, whatever you need, I can make it. Like mm-hmm. my, my next, my next thing I want to make is like a vinyl toy. Like oh, a, wow. Um, Beautiful. Like, a, you like know, a figurine? like figurine, like, actual like, figurine. Yeah. yeah. Like a vinyl piece. That's something I, I want to, that's, that's something that's going to be, I know it's going to be a challenge. Yeah. But that's one of the next things I want to do for Polaroid people. Mm-hmm. Um, I got the idea in mind already. Yeah. Um, but you know, Dope. I know someone who has some connects regarding some yeah, stuff be like fun. that. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you know, uh, as far as just like I love making stuff. Yeah, but whether it's actual physical products, mm-hmm. actual physical items, like you know, whether it's apparel, uh, like I said, novelty items, keychains, yeah, pins. Um, you know, things like that. Things yeah. that like, you know, are a little good quality. I've yeah, seen some yeah. of your things, man. Like, you know, yeah, you can like tell that. there's a lot of attention to detail. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so things like that I love doing. So I will do that in addition to everything. So like yeah. I, I, I'm, if I'm not doing something that's related to a product or something uh that's related to uh like a piece, mm-hmm. I'm doing videos. If I'm not doing videos, I'm doing photography. You know, or if I'm not doing that, I'm managing the actual brand and the actual company and yeah. doing and like managing the events, mm-hmm. pretty much project managing everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And nope. then like even down to like working the events and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's 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 a whole thing with the company. Yeah. And um just just putting it all together and just like, yeah. you know, working with different people and just uh keeping it all under like the umbrella in a way where like it's a thing. It's not yeah. just in vain. Like even though like a lot of times as a creator, it might feel like it's just everything is in vain. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, why am I even doing this? Yeah. But it's like, you just revert back to like, why are you doing this? Of course. You feel me? And like, you try to just be able to answer that question. So my whole thing is that I'm doing this for like Polaroid to people, for like the whole brand and the whole company and just the whole, for what it stands. Like, you know what I'm saying? What it means. Like, why I even do it? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I mean, that's so, such a blessing for, you know, the community because 
you're open to collaborating with with anybody yeah, 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 it seems yeah. like so for yeah. those listening i would encourage to hit yeah, pv like, find yeah, them on instagram yeah, um, what is your instagram by the way uh, uh, polaroid for the people. pv mm-hmm. polaroid.pv yes sir or polaroids of people on instagram yeah, and the follow people, both please yeah the people is ppl mm-hmm. um but you can find it you know yeah polaroids of people, uh, dot com. you know yep. what i'm saying in the YouTube, we just search Polaroids of People. Mm-hmm. We got Polaroids of People TV on the YouTube. Yep. Even if you just go to PolaroidsofPeople.com, if you go to the uh, Pop TV, mm-hmm. Polaroids of People TV section, yep. you know what I'm saying? We got everything there. PV will respond. I see him responding to people. Yeah, I'm on deck. I'm on deck. I'm yeah. on deck. You feel me? So to wrap up, I want to ask you a few last questions. Um, who are some creators right now? It could be photography. It could be music. Maybe more photography. Who... Or doing a great job that you'd like to shout out, maybe two or three. Shout out. I mean, look, I, it's just it's so many people. Yeah, There's so many people. Yeah, like, shout out some homies then because they 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 deserve some love. Maybe shout out to you. You feel um, me? Uh, shout out to you. Respect my well, Every time, every time <laughs> I see you doing something, it's fire. Mm, thank you. Um, you know, I, I mean, I work with the homie, my homie Snaps, my homie Snaps a Yo, little bit. Shout out to Snaps, man. He's yeah, someone who's, yeah, who's always yeah, shown yeah. genuine love, and yeah, I, I really love I work with him, man. and I work with, with, with ASAP 12 Yeah. So with everything that we're doing is just like, you know, that's a whole vibe right yeah. there. Like, you yeah, know we didn't even get to touch on that, but I know you've had yeah, a big yeah, part yeah. to do with... Uh, L Y B B and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that yeah, whole yeah. that whole so movie. That's a whole vibe. That's yeah. a whole vibe right there. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm also in tune with that, like doing that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh uh who else? Um it's just so many people. Yeah, yeah. So many, I, I know, so many I know, people I know like, how it is, man. So many people that's just like so fire and <laughs> yeah. everything that they're doing is just like amazing. Like, yeah. Well, shout out Justin again, man. That's yeah, a, shout that's out to Justin. Shout homie. out to Justin. I got to hit Justin. I ain't told yeah. Justin in a while. He lives in Cali now. You know oh, really? I, I didn't think, even know that. I think he okay. moved to Cali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he yeah. did. Now he did move to Cali. Yeah, okay, wow. I got to hit him. Yeah, this is recent. You know what I'm saying? Dope, man. You know this, 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 this. So many people. It's just like yeah. when I'm on Instagram, it's like so many people that's doing so many dope things. Yeah, and it's like I'm just like proud of everybody. Yeah, like, you feel me? I'm just. It's just like yo, dang, you doing that? Like yo, that's hot. Yeah, and like I'll be thinking like, how can I position myself to just to just keep working too? Mm-hmm. Like do what 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 other people are able to do. It's like mm. yo, damn, we could all we could all get to of it. Of course, like, you feel me? together. Like, you know there's no no competition. If yeah. it's, if it's competition, it's healthy, but. But even you know more saying? so, it's, it's collaborations. Yeah, it's collaborations and, and, yeah. and, and working together and just putting yeah. people on and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so many people, bro. Yeah. Like, I, it's, I'm going to keep it 100. Nah, you, you're like, good. That, that, that's, that's more than enough, like, man. Damn, Fifth snaps and Justin. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a good yeah. mix Shout right there, Just. man. Shout out to Just. <laughs> and also, okay, um, what is something you do every day? You know, you know, the podcast is called Masters of Ceremony mm. for multiple reasons, as I've described. But um, what is something that you would consider ceremonial, sacred, that you do every day to get your mind right or just to, you know, inspire yourself to work? Anything. Anything that you're willing to share? Because mm. I feel like so many creatives have, like, you know, either one thing or a couple things that they really try to focus on doing daily to get their mind right. Sometimes it's just rest. Sometimes it could be twisting something up. Sometimes I might twist something be. up. I might twist something up. That's a, that's that's yeah. a, that's that's definitely something to get the get no the, doubt get the vibes going. No doubt. Um, but at the same time, it's more so uh, um, just working every day. Yeah, like being able to be like, "Yo, I'm gonna work on this every day," or or every day just just having a, um some type of board where I could revert back to like, mm-hmm. "Yo, this is what I gotta get done." Yeah, so it's more so like a uh, um. What gets me going is knowing that there's stuff to be done. Yes. Even if it's personal projects. Yep. Like, or even if it's just like reaching a certain goal. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, um, like sometimes I might edit videos that they're not necessarily going to be bi- any part of anything bigger. Yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like even the West Side, like the West Side video, like that's, yeah. that's, it's that's just for you and for the just, fans. Yeah. Like yeah. that's, that's, just, that keeps me going. Like, you mm. know what I'm saying? Or doing stuff Dope. with, with LRBB and 12B, like that. Yeah. Keeps, knowing that there's potential in everything that I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Like there's so much potential in, in, in everything that I'm touching. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's just knowing that there's more work to be done. Beautiful. You feel man. Me? Like, just keeping yourself sharp. Yeah. With polarized the people, it's like just knowing that, yo, this is, this is just the beginning. Yeah, like, and that that honestly gets me going. Just knowing that, yo, know, if I tap in, mm-hmm. this could be anything I want it to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it's just knowing that keeps me going. Like you know dope. what I'm saying. Like dope, man. More than anything, beautiful. And um, last question. Uh, 
what is an area of your life or your career that you're trying to really master? Master, I'm trying to master communication. Meaning what I say and saying what I mean. You know what I mean? Like, yep. Just mastering, mastering that. You know, in all aspects. Ooh, that's deep, man. In all, that's in, uh, all, in all aspects of just everything I'm doing, like whether it be communication, just with um anybody and yeah. everybody. That's a very me, foundational. Meaning what response. I say and saying what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, you know. Yeah. Now yeah. more than ever, that's important, man. Not because, and not um, and not and not reacting in ways that are based so much on emotion, mm. but more so based on you know. Yeah. Deep. I like that, man. Oh, no. I think that's a very uh on thought, I guess. A you great thing to focus on in life because a lot comes from having that clear communication with yourself because uh it's not a good feeling to to say things that you don't mean, you know, or to make promises that you know you won't make. So to hold yourself or, accountable. Or, or, to just, you know? or, to, or to not say things that you do mean. Yes. Yes. Or to or to or to not communicate it in a way that's efficient. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know? So it's like... That's something I'm working on myself, man. So that's deep. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. You know, that's that's really it. It's just communication. Beautiful. Mastering communication. Word, like art, art is like... Art is nothing. Yeah. Art, it flows. art I could do it in my sleep. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. I could wake up, do a video. Yeah. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. That's literally nothing. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. whatever, whatever you need me to do, I could do it. But that's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, I want to master that too. Of course, of course. you know what I'm saying? Of course, I want to master my That's craft. also just flowing through. But that's you. just flowing. Yeah, yeah, that's that's every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But really, what it's like is the more like the communication of, mm -hmm. of, of everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Working smarter, not harder type of why. Word up. Wow. Well, that's beautiful, brother. Thank you for coming on to the right. show. Uh, peace, Tell the people brother. where we can find you. But yeah, uh, 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 Polaroid PV, mm -hmm. you know, on Instagram. Uh, Polaroids of People, PPL, Polaroids of People dot yes, uh, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, 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 Polaroids of People TV on. Uh, yeah, on we YouTube. let them know earlier, but we let them know again because we love. No, I we really, love. really tell. Uh, I really think people should Polaroids of People, in, man. Yeah. Polaroids of People, tune in. Tune Real in. Talk. Polaroids of People. Real talk. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just Polaroids of People and beyond. <laughs> Polaroids of People plus more. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Well, brother, you're no, welcome back anytime I'm asking the ceremony, peace, man. Peace, peace, Much love. Peace, peace God. Peace, peace.